Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, fine. You? Okay, I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day? A uh, bit tired. Okay. Did you work? Yes, yes, in my house. But I, I need to go out. Okay. And in your Dewey, what is the last number of your Dewey? Seven. So you go tomorrow? Uh, no, it's necessary for me because I have my my uh, my carnet, my identified for the press, and yeah. I go, go every day street. if you want. Yes. Okay. Well, that, that's an advantage, you know. Like you don't have to wait for a particular day to go outside. Only for go to buy the supermarket and use the bank. Right. Yeah, they ask you for your doing. Right, okay. All right, welcome back everybody. Um, what's today's date? Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Foster, you have disappeared. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm Were you sorry, on vacation? I'm, I'm being busy. Okay. No, not exactly. I've been in my, uh, where my daughter uh, is in her monthly examination. So oh. we've been studying. Okay, that's good. Yes. All right. But I'm here now. Okay, that's good. Okay, so today is June the 10th. 2020. Do you remember the activities we did yesterday? If you were in the session, if you were in the class. We talk about uh, infinities and super. Yeah. What's the meaning of infinitives? What, what's an infinitive? Present. What's an infinitive again? Like a, like a present, present tense. Um, yeah, it's, it's in present and we use them uh, when you're telling somebody what to do without mentioning the person. So you said, I think it's a good idea if you, or, or not, if you don't mention the person. So you said, uh, Make sure to turn off the lights. Don't forget to call your mother. So you don't mention the person you're speaking to. You just give the, the, the imperative, the command. Well, what else did we talk about? Is it raining where you guys are right now? My place, it is raining. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Here in Lourdes, I, I hear the thunder, and I think that pretty soon it's going to start raining too. Yep. Okay, so what else did we talk about yesterday? Different of borrow and land. Good. What's the difference between borrowing land? Can someone tell me? Borrow is to give, give a... Uh... Borrow is... Yes. Borrow is to receive. Uh, borrow is to receive and land is to, to give. Exactly. So it doesn't matter if you're asking or you're the one giving, both actions are temporary. So if I'm the one receiving, I'm supposed to give it back to you. Cell phone, money, a book, whatever. If I am the one giving, I expect you to return it to me. 
So it's just temporary. So once again, uh, in Spanish, we say prestar, prestame el teléfono. Uh, but in English, it's, it's kind of different. If you mention the person receiving the favor, you say borrow. If you are the person doing the favor, you say lend. Um, any questions there? Okay, so I guess not. All right. Um, any anything else that we did yesterday? Anything else that we spoke about yesterday? About the imperative. Yes. What's an imperative, Laura? It's when you give a suggestion. Good. An imperative is when you give a suggestion, and it's very similar to a command. So I can tell my wife, don't forget to turn off the lights. Don't forget to brush our son's teeth. You know, it, it's a it, it's a command. It's a you're telling someone to do something. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Anything else about yesterday? No questions? No. Okay. All right. So let's go with our first activity. Today we have two activities where we're going to be talking about technology. What is your opinion about technology? What comes to your mind when you hear the word technology? Make life easy. It makes life easier. Okay. That's, that's a good uh, answer. What else is technology for you guys? Technology is, imp is improving all the time. It's sure. good because... Yes, it's I mean... Good. It's good because uh, for, for some thing, you can automat automatize the process. Okay, sure. Yeah, that is very near to uh, to the first statement, you know, it makes life easier. Okay, what about yes. the others? What is your opinion about technology? Uh -huh. Do you have an opinion about technology? The communications is easier. Sure. Yeah, in terms of communication, technology has done amazing, incredible things, you know? Yes. So um, some years ago, this uh, video session would have been impossible if the technology didn't exist, you know? But because of technology, it is possible that we connect every day, at least for an hour, sure. Um, anything else? No? Okay, so we're going to be doing some reading um, about an article that was written like 10 years ago. And it's pure coincidence that the year that they mentioned when they wrote it is 2020. So let me um, share with you. Can you see the document? Yes. Okay, what is yes. the name of the document? A day in your life, mm -hmm. in the year. In the year 2020. In the year 2020. So, like I said, when they wrote this article, they were uh, using their imagination uh, to see how things would be uh, at this time. Okay, uh, scan the article, then add the correct heading to each paragraph. We have communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, and working. What do you see in the picture? My robot. Okay, what's the robot doing? 
A salad. He's preparing, preparing a salad. Okay, he's preparing the salad. Okay. All right. So uh, I need someone to please read the the introduction here, please. People used to know more. Or People less. used to know more or less how their children would live. Now things are changing so quickly that we even know where what years what follow is how experts see the future all right good okay uh ricardo next one please okay you're daydreaming uh, can you please okay you you're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car but that's okay you have it on automatic pilot and with its high-tech computer, your car knows how to get you home safely. All right. Any questions there with the previous two paragraphs? About vocabulary or pronunciation? In... No, teacher. No? All right, I need another volunteer to read paragraph number three. Me, teacher? Yes, Marielos. After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. All right, good, thank you. Any questions there? What does it mean commute? Does anybody know the meaning of commute? Commute means trasladarse, like when you go from one place to another. Okay. Desplazarse, sorry, okay. desplazarse. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, thank you. So uh, you can say in El Salvador, most people commute by bus. So they go to work by bus, they go to university by bus, they go out with their family by bus. So commute means desplazarse. Okay. All right, I need another volunteer to read this one here. And, all right, yes. Your information screen says that you received a message from a coworker in Brazil. You said your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your coworker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears on the button. All right, good. Any questions there? Oh. Okay, I need another volunteer to read the one on the left. You had a teacher. All right, please. You head for the kitchen when you get home. You ordered groceries by computer and an hour ago, and they've been delivered. You pay for them before they arrived. The money was automat automatic automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody use cash anymore. Good. Any questions here? What is the meaning of the word deducted? This word here, deducting. That was it? Um, when you say that was it? Ah, yeah, cobrar, descontar, deducted. So deducted is when an institution or somebody takes money from you legally. So when okay. you receive your check or your deposit, uh, they give you something like a receipt and they said, minus AFP, minus Seguro Social, minus the bank, those are deductions. So, okay. it, it, so you don't say discounts. Discount is when you're paying less. Okay. All right. All right, another volunteer to read uh, uh, the next one. My teacher. All right, please, Patricia. 
What's for lunch? Is the whole day. You used to stop off the get hamburg hamburger or pizza. Now you you use your diagnostic mac machines to find out which the food your body needs. Your food preparation machine made you a salad. All right. Any questions there? Um, no. Mm -hmm. oh, it's clear. Oh, all right. And I need a volunteer to read the last one. Only one. <laughs> Anybody? Okay, so I'll do the reading. It says, you okay. finish. You okay. finish working. No you know? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. You finish working and go back to your to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about the classic tonight? Maybe after the official? Okay, good. Any questions there? No, it's clear. No? Okay. No. So which one? No, we have six different stories um, about things that would be happening in this year. Now, if we analyze the first one, when uh, you're dreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay, um, is that possible now? Yes, it's possible. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it, it is. is. The, the new technology and allow us to drive in an automatic way. Exactly, yes. It's not too common, but it's possible. It's possible now. So, so they predicted well, okay? okay? All right, let's analyze the second one. After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office, you have everything to work, you don't have to commute to work anymore. Is that possible? Yes, it's possible. Yes, it is. And I think right now, most of us are doing home office. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now imagine that we didn't have the emergency about coronavirus. Uh, does anybody here in the group do home office? No. Or does everybody have to commute? I work at, at office, at home office. Okay, good, good. So Jaime is doing home office. Anybody else? No, no? I don't, no. Okay. I don't so, okay, so uh, most of us, you know, we still commute, we have to, be physically uh, present in the office, but some people are already doing this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What about this one here? You order groceries by computer an hour ago. Is that possible? Yes, yes possible. Yeah. Mm. possible. Yes, it is. You go to Super Selectos, uh, La Despensa, Price Mart. Uh, I think that all supermarkets offer that option now. Yes. Yes. Have you ever done it before? Yes. Okay. I think that only Super Select was, I think. Okay. Uh, I know that Super Selectos and Price Mart, they do it. I'm not sure about the other ones. Okay. Then a bro. Even a pro, we can do it because technology allows to make a, a purchase by online. Okay. So, Ricardo, you say you've done it before. Yes. Okay. And what was the uh, process like? And I remember that the last year I bought a, a micro SD, micro SD uh -huh. from China. And I had to fill some uh, some papers, right? And mm -hmm. and I um, 
I was able to to obtain this uh, this iron from China. Okay, good, good. All right. Anybody else wants to share uh, something similar? Okay, so uh, let's do the next one. You're having a, a, a conference with a person in another country, but this person doesn't speak your language. Yep. Can you now do what we have here in the screen? Yes, it is. It is. Right, right. So um, it's very uh, practical. It's really yes. handy. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, what about the other one? In the old days, you used to stop for a get a hamburger or a pizza. Now you have a, your diagnostic machine to find out which foods you need. Is that possible now? I think that uh, it is not possible, Jeff. Not, it's not Jeff. Okay. Uh, but I think they 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 must be working in, in something similar to uh, to obtain this information here. Yeah. Okay. And the last one is uh, you finish working and go back to your living room. Is yes, that is. possible? Yes, it is possible. The yes. one at home. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. All right. Okay. Any questions or comments about uh, what we just read? No, that's okay. No? no. Okay. I think so, it's clear. All right. Good. Very good. Now, uh, let's change topic. Uh, which are the holidays that we celebrate in El Salvador? Mother's Day. Christmas. Christmas, Mother's Day. Uh -huh. Christmas, Mother's Day, Day, Father's Day. Valentine's, Father's Day, right? Girlfriend Day. Independence, you said? Yes. Okay. All right. Pupusa when is Pupusa's <laughs> Day? I forgot. <laughs> For the first, I guess. What is the date exactly? Does anybody know it? Uh, the second son. Okay. The Father's Day will be approved by the New government. Year too. Okay. Now remember that some some Friday, uh, yes. some celebrations. <laughs> are holidays and others are not like Valentine's. You know, everybody uh, celebrates Valentine's, but it's not a holiday. Or Children's Day is not a holiday either, but okay. people celebrate. Yeah. Okay. What about in the United States? Which holidays do they celebrate? Can you hear me? Okay, do you guys hear me? Okay. Yes. yes. All right, good. Yes. I'm sorry that the connection went low. For... Say Memorial Day. Okay, Memorial Day. What are they celebrating Memorial Day? Thanksgiving Day. Okay. Uh, Thanksgiving, Memorial, those two. We don't have them in El Salvador. Halloween. Now, Halloween is another example of a celebration, wow. but it's not a holiday. Wow. Right. Now, who said Memorial Day? Was it Victor? Did you say Memorial Day? Memorial Day. Okay, what is Memorial Day? Can you explain it? 
Celebrate. Celebrate. Commemorate the people dying warm or yes. Memorial Day, Day for the all the soldiers. Exactly. It's about all the soldiers that lost their lives. Ah. Yes. It's raining now in, in Lourdes. So the internet is, is going up and down. Okay. Now, when we talk about holidays, people sometimes celebrate and sometimes they have a party. Now, when you hear the word party, what comes to your mind? What's a party for you? Uh -huh. Joy. Meeting with uh, friends. Okay, joy. To meeting to with celebrate, friends. To celebrate uh, something special. Good. You celebrate something special. Now, what? how do you celebrate here in El Salvador? If you're going to celebrate, let's say, a wedding, a baptism, a birthday, uh, whatever you're celebrating, how do you celebrate? Baby shower. Baby shower. Uh -huh. What do you include in all those events? Food, beverage. Food, invitation, beverage. Invitation for everybody. Gift. Okay. How do you how do you invite Cake. people? Cake. Send do you email. Do you tell them or do you give them an invitation card? Sometimes we give some invitation card when it's um the traditional way, invitations. Or okay. for calling. Personally. Calling, yeah. Okay. So when you have by, a, when you have our... okay. So when you're having a, a, a celebration. What things do you need to have? You said beverage, you have food, anything else that you want music. to make? Sure? Music, right? Music and adequate. Right. So you need to adequate the place where this is going to take place, right? Okay. So in the platform, you yes. will see yes. this vocabulary. And I want to make sure that everybody recognizes it. Okay. So we have anniversary, cake, parks, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, oh. party, presents, roast turkey, and wedding. Okay, um, any questions with this vocabulary? Is the meaning of parade? Parade? Sorry. Parade. Yes. Yes, Chile. Oh, parade. Yeah. Like for for September 15th, uh, we have the military parade, the police parade, the students' parade. So we have parades. Anything else? Um, okay, so anything else you would include in, on, on this list? Balloons, decoration. Yeah, balloons, decoration, yes. Some people get very excited about decoration, you know, they get balloons, uh, ribbons, different things. Okay. Uh, when was the last? Sorry. What is it? Pool party. Yeah, pool party. Yeah, pool parties are cool. Okay. Uh, have you ever uh, had an, um, a celebration in your house? Yes. 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 
Okay, did it go well? Yes. Yes. Okay, did you plan it well? Not at all, so. but. <laughs> so you improvise a few things. Not at all, because always has to improve something. Right, to right. To improvise something. But. Right. I remember like four years ago, maybe a little bit more, I don't remember what it was, uh, but I had a, a, a small celebration here at home. And we, my wife had made soup, chicken soup. And to my surprise, I hadn't thought about getting the special dishes for the soup. So I had to run and buy some, some bowels uh, uh, at, at a store near here. Like you guys said, when you're doing something, you realize that you need to improve for the following time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any questions or comments about this? No. No. All can right. we include in this? Can we include in this list uh, the music? Sure. Definitely. Yes. The music is very important. Sure. Sure. <laughs> even even for people that are religious, you know, they. Well, it, maybe it's not music, it's, it's gospel, but yes. they need to have the stereo running. Yes. Yes. Right. Likes. What is it? Uh, likes. Lights, sure. Sure. Especially if it's at nighttime, lights make a, a difference. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like right. <laughs> now, what is the typical food? you would prepare for a regular normal celebration chicken <laughs> chicken right i go to lunch with okay. chicken and rice chicken. okay chicken and rice oh. roast, roast beef or oh, roasted beef okay good depends which beef. celebration maybe yeah it depends on the celebration too right Okay. Beer. Beer, sure. Beer has to be present. Yes. What, and what we are going to eat when we will celebrate our graduation of this course. <laughs> what is it? What we are going to eat when we graduate from this course. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You tell us, Ricardo. <laughs> That's a very good question, you know, like you have to start thinking yes. about, look, yes. I see myself graduating yes. and what's going to be for yes. dinner or lunch? Okay, yes. everybody here is thinking about this. Yeah, start thinking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anything else about this vocabulary? No? no. It's All clear. Right. All Not right. Clear. Okay, so... Uh, in the platform, there's going to be a, there is a knowledge check, which I'm going to share here with you now. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, can somebody please read the instructions? And instructions. Yes, how please. Much, how much do you know about these days and month? Read the sentences and complete them by choosing the best answer. Okay. Okay, so I before before we check the, the answers, what usually happens uh, in New Year's in El Salvador? What do you usually guys do on, on January 1st? Can
Can you guys hear me? 